talk about America's favorite line of all-terrain vehicles, the Honda Ranchers. The Ranchers are some of the most important ATVs in our lineup. We introduced our first Rancher 12 years ago, and since then we've sold more than 700,000 of them. That makes the Rancher the best-selling ATVs in the world. Why is this important? Because the more you know about the Rancher line, the more you'll understand why so many riders choose them. Even though they're called Ranchers, these Honda ATVs are right at home on the farm, in an orchard, out in the woods, or when you're hunting and fishing. With a wide range of models and an even wider choice of features, there's a Rancher for every rider out there. No matter which Rancher you choose, you'll be getting a versatile ATV with a mid-sized feel, but full-sized features. And the Ranchers are true, do-it-all ATVs. They're just the right size for most riders, and they're big enough to tackle tough jobs and rugged trails that challenge lesser ATVs, even those with bigger engines. And speaking of trails, the Ranchers are a lot more maneuverable than some of the competition's larger ATVs, a real plus if you're riding in rugged country. And no matter how big the ranch or what you need to get done, there's a Rancher that's right for the job. In terms of size and displacement, the Ranchers fit right in the center of the Honda's ATV lineup, and they offer a wide range of option choices. That includes two or four-wheel drive, solid rear axles or independent rear suspension, conventional shifting, electric shifting, or an automatic transmission, and even electric power steering. Like all our ATVs, the Ranchers embrace Honda's philosophy of building rider-active all-terrain vehicles. Rider-active design is a concept that Honda has pioneered in our ATV line. It means that we incorporate the rider into our ATV design from the very start and not as an afterthought. And it also means that Honda's Ranchers offer superior comfort for those all-day rides or sun-up to sundown workdays. In this video, we're going to show you some of the features that have always made the Ranchers so popular and such a great value. Because the more you know, the easier it will be to see why a Honda Rancher is America's first choice in all-terrain vehicles, and why it should be your first choice too. It all adds up to an ATV that's going to outlast the competition and work better because it's built better. While there are eight individual Rancher models in our 2012 lineup, they all have one thing in common, and that's this. They all use the same great Honda engine, and it's also an area where Honda has a big advantage over the competition. The engine is the heart and soul of any vehicle, and whether it's ATVs, motorcycles, or cars, nobody knows how to build a great engine like Honda. Right off the bat, you can see that the ranchers use an engine layout that offers a critical difference. Their engines are mounted with the crankshaft front to back in the chassis, just like a full-size pickup truck. Honda was the first to mount our engines like this back on our 1995 Foreman, and others are just beginning to catch up. Like all our other Honda ATV engines, the Rancher power plants are specially built for our ATV line, and not just motorcycle engines and ATV frames. The longitudinal engine layout eliminates any unnecessary right angle driveline changes. It also lets the power flow directly to the front and rear drive shafts. And direct drive is good, because it means more power actually gets to the ground. Anything less than direct is less efficient. And when it comes to transmissions, you're going to see how the more efficient theme continues. The engine is also narrower for improved comfort and rider control. Take a look here and you can see how our engineers use that layout to full advantage and how narrow a rancher is where you sit and stand. The design also lets the rancher use a 420 class engine. It delivers the real world performance of a bigger machine but without the weight. And since all our rancher engines are liquid cool, they run at a more consistent temperature for even longer engine life. Next, every Rancher model uses fuel injection with a 34 millimeter throttle body. Fuel injection automatically compensates for high altitude operation when you're working, hunting, or just exploring in the mountains. That means you get better cold weather starting, better throttle response, and improved fuel economy. And the Ranchers all feature high capacity batteries so you know that the engine will start even in cold weather. We've already mentioned the Rancher's front-to-back engine layout, but let's talk a little more about engine configuration. Because the engine is the biggest part of any ATV, making it more compact from both the top and the bottom contributes to the Rancher's low center of gravity and superior handling on rough terrain, all without sacrificing ground clearance. Many engines have an oil pan, or oil sump, that hangs down at the bottom, not the Rancher's. We designed them with a semi-dry sump layout. The oil is stored in a special chamber on the side of the engine where it's well protected and doesn't subtract from ground clearance. Because the sump is internal, 
There's no separate oil tank and no vulnerable hoses to leak or get snagged. And there's another benefit to this layout. The crankshaft is one of the heaviest parts of any engine, and the rancher's design allows us to lower the crankshaft in the chassis for a lower center of mass and improved handling. Another design feature that contributes to a lower center of mass is the overhead valve cylinder head construction. Moving the camshaft away from the top of the head and lower into the engine not only reduces cylinder head height and weight, but further concentrates the engine's weight down low. Since this engine is built for lots of torque and low revving power, the OHV design is a perfect match and a great way to make the engine more compact top to bottom. Finally, the Rancher's engines feature a counterbalancer to help reduce engine-generated vibration, and to make it even smoother, we rubber mount the engine and muffle it. We mentioned that the Rancher line uses fuel injection, but even here, our Honda-programmed fuel injection system offers some serious improvements over what some other ATVs feature. Most fuel injection systems use a fuel pump that's located inside the fuel tank, not the Rancher's. Their fuel pump is mounted remotely, as you can see here. This gives a rancher several real advantages. First, by getting the pump out of the tank, we increase tank capacity without making the tank wider or taller. Second, because the fuel pump is lower than the tank, it always has a steady supply of gas, even over hilly terrain, and when you have only a partial tank of fuel. Servicing the pump or filter is easy because it's right out in the open, and it's all housed in a strong metal case and rubber mounted for durability. With eight models in the Rancher lineup and three distinct transmissions, the Ranchers have a huge advantage. The automatic clutch makes the Ranchers way easier to operate than most farm equipment or even motorcycles with transmissions that use a conventional clutch. And since a full clutch engagement occurs at a low RPM, you get the full benefit of the Ranchers' generous torque early in the power band. That's especially important when you're riding in slow, rough terrain or starting off while towing a heavy load. The rider also has greater control over gear selection for optimal performance, something they don't have with variable transmissions found on competitors' models. And since inside it uses real gears, there's no belt slippage, so they get superior fuel economy and power transfer. There's another benefit to every transmission in the Rancher line, and it's a big one. You get true engine braking, a real plus when you're negotiating downhill sections or in any rough terrain. It's another example of that rider active feel we've been talking about, how you really feel positively connected with these ATVs. The conventional ATV transmission is a great choice if you're looking for a no-nonsense design, if affordability is high up on your list of priorities, and if you're familiar with ATVs and how to operate them. Now let's take a look at which transmission is going to be right for each rider. First, both our two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive ranchers are available with a conventional shift ATV five-speed transmission with reverse. This is the most basic choice. You can't see inside, but it's a rugged, all-mechanical, constant mesh design with steel gears and shafts. There are no belts to slip, break, or burn up under harsh conditions, like riding through mud or through water crossings. And of course, the transmission is also fully sealed to keep out water and doesn't require frequent maintenance like some other ATV designs. The Ranchers also gives you plenty of options when it comes to shifting, and this leads to our next two models. First, our conventional five-speed transmissions use a standard foot shifter. Our Rancher models with ESP offer electric shifting. This can be a big benefit if you're wearing heavy work boots or riding in mud or through snow. It's also helpful if you're unfamiliar with a motorcycle or ATV style foot shift or if a lot of different riders may be operating the same ATV. This might be the case when a farm or a ranch has a lot of different workers and just a few all-terrain vehicles they all need to ride. It's also a great choice if a rider is less than proficient with a conventional ATV transmission. With Honda's electric shift program, you just push a handlebar mountain button to shift up or down. The ranchers with our electric shift program use the same strong transmission and internal gears as the standard ranchers. The only thing that's different is how you shift them. You still get excellent durability. And as we mentioned earlier, you also get true engine braking in hilly terrain as a standard feature, not as an add-on like you do in competing models. And finally, we come to our two Rancher AT models. 
AT stands for automatic transmission, but these ranchers use a transmission that's head and shoulders above any of the competition's old style automatics. To start with, its full name is the Honda Automatic 5-Speed Transmission, and that's the first hint. It's not a continuously variable automatic with a belt. If we look inside, we'll find steel gears and shafts like our conventional transmission. But the Honda Automatic 5-Speed Transmission has a couple of key differences. First, it's a twin clutch designed for smooth, seamless shifting. Honda uses the same type of transmission in our sport bike line with engines nearly three times the size of our ranchers, so you know it's plenty strong to deal with the power an ATV puts out. And it has two modes of operation. In the first mode, the transmission shifts automatically. As the operator, you don't have to do anything more. In the second mode, you can shift ESP style by pushing one of the two handlebar mounted buttons. This lets you pick a specific gear for a certain part of the trail, and the Rancher AT will stay in that gear until you shift it again. The Rancher AT is going to be a great choice for a rider who wants the best of both worlds. The ATV can be a workhorse during the week using the automatic transmission mode and a fun, sport-type ATV on the weekend. The ESP shift mode gives the working rider more control with a big load or when pulling a heavy trailer. And it gives the weekend rider more control for sporty ATV riding. Because of this, the Rancher AT is an excellent choice if you need an ATV that gives experienced riders the control they want and also gives less experienced riders the ease of operation that comes with the automatic shift mode. If you have both types of riders in your family, you should give the Rancher AT a good, long look. The Honda Automatic 5-speed transmission is also way more efficient than the competition's automatics. About 90% of the power that goes in comes out the other end and is available to get the work done. A typical automatic transmission on our competition's models may soak up 25 to 30% of the power in wasted loss, leaving a lot less available to do any real work. This is one of the reasons the Ranchers, and especially the Rancher AT, is able to use a 420cc engine that's really comparable to a much bigger engine when it comes to how much work it can do. The smaller, lighter Honda engine makes for a better handling ATV that's less fatiguing to ride, yet one that sacrifices nothing in power or ability to a less well-developed design. It's more economical to operate, and it's as durable as our conventional all-steel manual transmissions too. Now it's time to dig a little deeper and check out the new 2012 Rancher Suspension. This is another case where you have some real freedom of choice. All our ranchers, including the Rancher AT models, use independent double wishbone front suspensions. This layout maintains a greater tire contact patch on the ground, excellent handling, and great bump compliance. Because the trailer hitch bolts directly to these ranchers' axle housings, there's no chassis squat under load when you're towing or pulling. If you tow a lot, like agricultural sprayers or other farm equipment, these may be the right ranchers for you. That axle hooks up to a box section steel swing arm, which helps the ranchers track straight in ruts and that resists flex over uneven terrain. A heavy duty rear shock with five position spring adjustability allows the rider to change the preload for varying cargo weights or when towing. That helps give them a greater versatility. This combination of a double wishbone front end and solid rear axle has some advantages over competing designs in real world working conditions. Now we come to the Rancher AT. It has a completely different rear suspension. The AT uses IRS, or independent rear suspension. IRS gives a high degree of all-day riding comfort. It's oriented more towards the recreational rider, but it's still as comfortable on the job as it is on the trail. As you can see, there's no differential in our IRS system, so there's no slip. Your customers get positive drive and 100% traction to both rear driving wheels. 